Right, engineer. So we are um, this house particularly now. What are we looking at here? Just give us a brief introduction of what we are actually looking at right now. Um, it's a pleasure again. This house is um, a five bedroom duplex. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then um, when we mean duplex, is that has has it that the all the rooms are in suit. Okay. And it has an ante, has the lounge. Mm has the kitchen, okay. has a family lounge, has the rooms, the kitchen, the balconies, mm. the, lounge, the lounge, the family lounge has a balcony, okay. then master bedroom has a balcony, has a stairs, mm. has a laundry, all that is required for a, a modern duplex. It also has a pantry mm. where we can also call it store. It has visitors' toilets by the ante. Mm. Then it has walkway corridors where that leads to different geometric arrangements of the house. Okay, so let's start from the top when this house started. Now, um, you the design of the house. Were you the one that came up with it, or is the, it was the owner of the house that came up with the design? Well, um, first of all, in building, mm. when it comes to the house and design. It is the owner, mm. or rather the client, that will always have something in mind. Okay. And so, so some, the client will have something in mind, and he will share what he has in mind With you, the to, to the engineers, okay. the architects, and the, of course the builders, the civil guys. And then you will just have to interpret what he has in mind. Okay. So first of all, the the client has to will come up with an idea. Okay, this is the kind of house I want. I want. Okay. And then you will now put it into paper. And the paper will now realize to what we have here now. Okay. Thank you. So, as, as um, was it your, your it was was it you guys that handled the three D drawing for the house or no? A third party. It, it, it was a, a friend, a sister company, mm-hmm. rather a friend of mine, who did the design, and then and after the design, it was handed over to us. Okay. Then we come in and then reproduce what it is in the drawing. Okay. Um, and I know I noticed this particular um, area is not is not swampy, but you still did. Um, if I if I'm correct, I still saw like a mini raft or something. So why did you do that in this place? Because yeah, yeah, not not really. Uh, what we do here, it wasn't really rafts. I wouldn't say it raft, but we did a, a we did some column reinforcement. What does that mean? That means is that um, at the at the base at the strip after mm. the excavation. Okay. You have to get the right, the right thickness of casting, mm. you know, so in order to plant your your column. And the column we are talking about is the pillars. Okay. Because in a house of this kind, mm. it is the pillars or the column that is carrying the load of the house. Yeah. So then, when we get to the DPC level, we chain it. Mm. The reason was because in this part of the in this part of the this part of this kind of land mm. in this side of the country, the, the earth moves. The head move so the, therefore it causes cracks okay. in buildings. Sometimes we just see people's fence, you see cracks, okay. you see people's houses looking crack. And once there's a crack in the house, it's not a good thing for the house, okay? So, that, uh, that those cracks we usually see is caused by yes, when the head shifts. On, so. Yeah, on the, so, so, you have to make sure you have to make sure that the ground is well stable, okay? So, it is caused because that the, 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 the movement will always happen. Okay. Yes, the movement will also happen. So, but when those movement happens, mm. you know, in the, the eight movements mm. in this part of the country, mm. you know, when those movement happens, okay. then 
the, 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 if the house was not well stabilized, mm -hmm. like those columns, like what you just noticed from what I showed you to the foundation, mm -hmm. the history you have about the foundation or mm -hmm. what we did. So those things we did. So we did it to prevent those uh, movements mm -hmm. of the earth because it to happen. And once they happen, and then that's why in this part of the country you see a lot of erosions, okay. a lot of uh, roads being getting bad. Okay, because in, I noticed also that because this area is mountainous. Yes, there's exactly. a lot of mountains around here. Exactly. And, okay, so, so, so naturally it's expected that we are supposed to be having land shift. A land shift and all of that. Yeah, the earth movement. It's called earth movement. movement. Okay. So so when you are building, because. First of all, when you are about to build, you put a lot of things into consideration. Mm. The area you're building, the mm. soil, what is required. Mm. You, you, you carry out your tests and the kind of building, and then you, you now know the application to it. Okay. Yeah. So now, when, we talk, when you talk about head movement, does it also include, like, I know um, you showed me videos of when this house was at the foundation level, when people were digging and, you know, making the foundation and trying to raise the structure. Now, does it not happen? This is just a random question. Oh, it's not a random question, but okay. it's a layman's question. Okay. Uh, what if maybe during the, when you guys are um, trying to dig the foundation and then the earth moves at that point, will you just re uh, cancel the entire foundation and redo it again? Or? No, no. The earth movements happen such that you will not notice it. Uh -huh. Yes. That is why in bridges, those who build bridge and mm. uh, gigantic kind of buildings, they introduce what is called expansion joints. Mm -hmm. Like in this building, the, not rather the floor of this compound, like the flooring, mm. we did an ingrate. Now, if you check the flooring mm. very well, because I'm just trying to bring in this to answer your question, which is in the video as well. So on, on the flooring, you will see tiny lines cutting across the floors. You see tiny lines. Mm. The reason why we introduce those lines is because the span of the floor is wide. Mm. They are wider, so we have to introduce those tiny lines mm. so that when the the, the, the the expansion happens, the movement happens, those tiny lines will hold, it will not allow the cracks mm. to come in. So it will now sustain the, 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 the floor. Okay. So now, now, coming to the building, you will not notice this movement. You know, it happens such that you don't notice it. Just like when a child is growing, mm. you just woke up and the child is started growing. You know, you are, you can, if, if, even if you, you, even if you, you try not to sleep and be watching your child, mm. and you I'm not going to sleep, never you will never know when it's just God's kind of yes. uh, pattern of life exactly. So that is how it is. So in course of walking, you will not know. Mm. But if the building was not well stabilized, you only come and saw cracks, and the way you see the cracks, and we have major cracks and we have minor cracks. So if there are major cracks that affect the columns, mm. the beams and all that, it means the, the foundation wasn't well done. Okay. It has some problems. Which so, But because we know what we are doing, mm. and these are things we see, and we know the terrains of building, mm. we are building the swamps, we are building different kind of places. So when we see this, so we know the application, the application to it. Is. Exactly. Okay, now, first of all, this, um, this house has like a, it doesn't have a gatehouse but it has like a bq yes um that is very large and also i think how many rooms there are three rooms at the bq yeah the bq has three rooms and also has a mini flat alongside okay, with it there's a, a flat in there yeah, and also have some some separate toilets okay so, when, so this entire structure is sitting on how many plots of land well we will call it two plots of land Okay. Yeah. We'll because there's also a, like a what's it called? A bush hut. A bush hut where somebody oh, can sit down and yes, chill outside. Yeah, bush hut. Yes, we have a bush hut. We also have um, the garden. Okay. And we also have the areas where you park. The park children can also. play around the compound and and all that. Okay, so this entire thing is uh, this entire structure is sitting on two plots of land. Yes, yeah, it's sitting on two plots of land, but not like I mean, what I mean everything around this compound. Okay, everything uh, around the entire building, in the and entire the garden exactly is sitting on the two plots. Yes, I didn't see the septic tank when I was <laughs> walking around. Yes, I've been looking for it. Exactly. Where did you guys bury it? Because like it's almost flawless. Like you can't find it. Like I will always tell you in our previous jobs, which mm. we have visited a lot of our sites, mm. you've seen our sites in different locations yes. of this country. You will not see a septic tank. Mm. And then, like I told you, some people say, oh, it has to be visible because during evacuation, our septic tank don't get filled. Oh, we made okay. the search that it will never fill. That technology 
you know we just we have a style to never get feel so like where the cars are packed in this compound mm. at the septic tank we have about two of it one is serving the the duplex and one is serving the bq but okay. you will never know where they are okay cause because I, it will never get filled with yes because i was looking around when i when i was walking around i've checked you when i was taking them. videos outside i was checking i couldn't find it we, we, can, we can never see it but we know where it is because okay. we did it, we did it. The, and also let's know. still talking about what is happening outside um what kind of uh what's it called is it tiles or interlocking blocks did you use on the floor yes because it looks kind of different from what you normally see yeah. or what i have seen in most houses it is called an ingrate Ingrate. Ingrate, yes. It is um, a combination of uh, sand, cement, and some chemicals. Okay, did you guys make it yourself or you, you bought it ready made? We have. We make it ourselves. We have a team. Every phase of the work in anywhere you see our jobs, we have a team. Okay. We have a, we, it's part of us. We are, it's a company. We have a team who mm. does this. When it gets to anything, we know what to do. And when we get, you know, the people we have, mm. it's part of us, our team. That's why when we go into a project mm. we do a totality of it because we, we do everything okay exactly so another thing um good thing i noticed in this particular um, job just like the other ones i've looked at is the finishing right yeah so um how do you guys get your finishing so precise like because i've i i me i like houses even though i don't have my own yet and one of the things i like are houses that are very clean right because when you go to places like lecky in Lagos, you know, all those new, all those estates, yeah. like Lekki Gardens and yeah. the rest of them, there's a way those houses look, like they are like foreign standards, exactly. look very clean and the finishing is on point. And I have noticed um, around your projects that we have looked at, that that same style is what you guys use. So how have you guys been able to come up with this standard and maintain it? Like, like, uh, like, <clears throat> like you rightly said that in all of our projects, mm. all of our projects that we have finished, you are going to see this or more. Okay. okay? This is the style. This is the standard. Mm. Now, we have these persons. We have this group of people. We, are, we have trained group people. Mm. We didn't just start. We started training people on what we want to achieve. Okay. That is why we carry our workers from one place to the other. Okay. Okay, so you, you, you know that what you're saying, that you guys don't, you have fixed workers that we have, you use? Yeah, exactly. We have the workers that work with us and they understand our principle. They know what we want. They, they understand our style at every given time. Mm. So when it comes to your own style, when it comes to your, your own side of the work, you know what to do. Okay. And we also do good supervision. We have boys, engineers trained and who are also supervising with us. Okay, and so our and we are our projects are very affordable. We give it the with all this with whatever you're seeing, like I would say, whatever you're seeing, uh, because uh, we based in Lagos, we you know we work in different parts of the country, so we we have we know what people want, and people people uh, engage us to work for them because of what they know us on how we're able to. Okay, so in other words, them. you're saying that. Um, the reason why this standard has been maintained is because mm. you have a team that already yes. know what... We have a team. Okay, that yes. already know what you guys want. Exactly. What you, yes. What you're looking for. Yes, and, and in every organization, if you want to achieve a standard, you need to work with a team. Mm. There are a lot of engineers who change their workers. Yes. Like the workers who have been working with me, mm. we've known them since we graduated from school okay. and we keep working together okay. this is about more than five ten years and down the line they are still there okay. some were not married they are not married you know you know that kind of relationship so we know they understand our style mm -hmm. they, we have a style and we can't do less than what we are expected of okay. and these are the reasons why people you know engage okay. us in their projects okay so if I, if i wanted to ask you how much does it um how much um, let's go back to that, um, the interlock outside. Okay. Like, how much do you think if somebody wanted to contract you to do that kind of job now, for instance, I want to have that done in my house specifically. Okay. Can I, can I, can I contact you to, or can you, can I have your team do it? Yes. And then is there like a specific price or is there a, an, is there something I need to know about the price? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yes, it's good to know about the price because you have reasons for asking. And you want to know what you don't know. Don't know. First of all, um, we have measurements. 
Okay. These things are done by measurements. They are done by square meters. Mm. And the materials is also part of whatever we do. So, first of all, we come to your place and we come to your um, the place you want to want us to do it, and then we mm. take measurements. measurements. Exactly. After after the measurement, we don't we now go into building, quantify the mm. project, whatever it is, anything that has to do with uh, concrete work has to do with cement, sand, mm. and the other things that we bring it together okay. to work it. So and then the, the laborers. So we have a flexible um, style of work. Mm. We can come into your project mm. either just like you ask about the floor. But I'm just giving a general note about other things. Yeah. Can come to your project and then you ask us to do anything in your mm. project. Mm. We will um, tell you the cost of materials. We will tell you what the materials will be. If you want to provide the materials, you provide, mm. and then we will swing it to action and tell you our okay, labor. Okay. We work it. So it's it's, it's both ways. Okay. We make it very flexible for you. Yeah. We can come in and tell you, okay, this project, this is the cost of your labor. Mm. You give us so, so, so this, give us. And then when those things are provided, we we'll move with, with our team. Okay. But if you now feel, oh well, you can just do everything. We we'll, same thing. Now let's talk about the tiles in here. Okay. You know what? I, also another thing is. Um, the the t- kind of tiles that are inside this house, yeah. you know, it looks very high quality, like everywhere. And also, I know you've explained this in previous videos, but um, you you have said that tiles are for specific places, places, uh, because and the usage and the usage. Because I notice here that the, the tiles on the staircase, like the places you you match your feet, they are yeah. different from the ones yeah. that are on the body of the staircase and the ones that are on the floor. Exactly. So, what kind of tiles are we looking at here? Well, like I always say in my other pre- videos and my projects in course of discussing with you, mm. that same standard, it is what it is everywhere. Now, the pressure, like the staircase, mm. the staircase has some kind of pressure and then there's no way you can go up to this house, to the floor, first floor, the, the, the upstairs that you will not... Um, the off floor that you will not go through the staircase. Yeah, of course. You have, can't avoid that. Mm-hmm. And you know, so so as many staircases that we will have in this kind of places, we will have some kind of tiles that uh, that are, that can withstand pressure. So what kind of tiles? So in most in those kind of places, we have uh, Spanish tiles. We have uh, we can Spanish tiles. We have um, Italian tiles, and then the balcony is all are places that you must pass through the balcony the entrance porch rather to come into the house and then those kind of places and then when it comes to Palo, sometimes we also involve um some uh, the interior guys when we want to do our tiling okay and sometimes we bring them in and then but for this project mm. not for all the projects for this project mm. most times the clients mm. make their choices okay. and then we work with them but trust me, everywhere that we put any tiles has their own rules and specification, and they are well suited in everywhere. Okay, quick question. You just mentioned something. Okay. What is the difference between Italian tiles and uh, Spanish tiles? They are the same, rather. So uh, that's what I said. He, uh, the staircase, he would either use Spanish or Italian. They are the same quality. Tiles, um, just different yeah, products. The same, different products. They are the same quality. But then we not also have Nigerian tiles. Mm. Those Nigerian tiles are also in different grades. Okay. Uh-huh. So they are in different grades. So like I said, most of the tiles are used based on how it is demanded in a place. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay. So how many? T- what, what? Do you mean how many type of tiles do we have in a house that you're going to be? This is what I mean. Mm. I know there are pressure sensitive tiles like the ones you use on the staircase. Yes. So those ones you can hardly sleep. And the balcony. And for no, no sleep tiles. Those ones are not slippery. Like yes. even if your feet are wet, yeah. you match. You, you can. Yeah. You hardly sleep and fall. Yeah. So what other kind of tiles do we have in different other parts of the house apart from the pressure sensitive tiles that I know of? Yes, that other kind of tiles, like in the parlor, mm. most parlors, we have this kind of glaze tiles. It has, it's like, it, it, it glitters, it looks like mirror. Mm. There's a way it looks like. So that when you have the decor in your parlor, it brings out that some kind of beauty. Mm-hmm. And so those are the places, like I said, like I said before, mm. tiles are in different grades. Okay. And there are different uh, um, shape designs and so many colors in the market. Mm. So basically, what we do for Mr. Air project is not the same. No, no, no. I know, I know, I know. I'm just yeah. want, I just wanted you to yeah. to throw more light on the different types of tiles. Yeah, different types of tiles. Pressure, pressure sensitive tiles yes. are there, 
and then which other type of because cars for, for, for example now the pressure tires are used in those staircases the balcony the toilet floor mm, okay. where you have water mm. constantly pouring okay. but on the wall or the on wall of the toilet mm. rather you can use no, um, those pressure or those sleeping because it, it, should, it, it should be that when, when water pours on the toilet wall, yeah, water should, should, should naturally wash it, wash it exactly. So, you know, we can see the differences now. Okay, and so yeah. now for this very house, yeah, both the, the ground floor, we have how many, how many rooms do we have down here? We have about, about we have one room, one room down here, yes, yeah. then we have a kitchen. Yeah, we have the ante, the ante we and have then the, we have a staircase, and we have a toilet, a visitor's toilet. Here yes, too. and we have a parlor yes, and the dining and all of that. And, the and when I when we say parlor, I think it includes the dining. And yes. The, How much did it cost you to to um, to tile the, this entire building? The entire building. Yes. Yeah, I will say that um, the entire building, because when you talk about the cost, what it costs us to style, it's not just buying the tiles. And, okay. You know, it's, just, it's not just buying the tiles. Buy, the cost of purchasing tiles is one side. Okay. And then when you buy tiles, you need to engage the guys who are doing it. Mm. They, our guys are very, very precise. That's why if you check our jobs, the, the tiling style are very good. Anywhere you see any of our projects, because we have, like I told you, we have a team, okay? Mm. And they can't do less on what is expected. So when you get the tiles, it's a different price. You get the cement, cement for the pro project. Mm. You get sand for it. You also have to source anything that is required for the tiling to, to work. Okay, but I think I can give a rundown of what it actually costs because, like I told you, mm. in this project, we may not have, um, we may not have, um, we may not have. We can do the bill. We can because in, in, in building. Eh, in building projects are really rather buildings. We can have you do build before we build, we do the construction. Yeah. You can also do uh, the build after the construction, like modern evaluation, like as it is now. Yeah. The way this house is now, someone can come in here and do evaluation based on the current price of what it is in the market okay, because okay. the house is still fresh. So you can also do build like when someone gives us a drawing and you now do a build for a project and you now uh, itemize everything the cost and what it's required mm. for the project and you can run with that and they but like i said before our building are flexible when we come into this project we had a meeting with the client and the client said i will provide all the materials you'll be needing okay so this is your labor aspect so we don't control the materials okay but we only say, okay, this is what is suitable for here, this is what is suitable for here. And so those ones, we, those things were provided for us. So is that the case in this project? That is the case, yeah. So you guys didn't buy the time? We didn't buy the materials. It was provided for us. For us. Yes. Okay, but we had our input. Okay. Uh, we had our input because we came into a meeting. Like I told you, that mm -hmm. project has their dif differences. Yes. Like on my other project, I can actually give you a rundown of everything we use in building it because we, we, we handled it. But in this other project, we had a purchasing manager uh, who provides everything we need. So and we had it. We had a little time. So you had, the, you know, the, so the client said, "Okay, uh, this is what will happen. This is what." So the, the, to, to, someone was delegated for this, but we were also always involved in most of the purchase so that we can take the things we want. Okay, from your involvement now, just yeah. give us a, um, the answer now. Yeah. From your involvement in this project, yeah. in the buying of the materials, how much did you think, including the labor? The um, including the labor, transportation, the, the bill of material itself, and the rest. How much do you think it, it actually costs, or how much would you have estimated that it actually cost you, or it actually costs uh, to, to tile this entire house? Well, 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 just give us an estimate. Yeah, the estimate I would rather do is I think uh, between six to seven million naira. Okay, yes, but like I said. These tiles, we, they came in batches. I understand. Like as we progress. So we are uh, just saying that, so let's just keep it at, say we... It's about 7, seven million. 7 million naira yes. was able to tile this um, five-bedroom duplex. Yes. Up and down. Based on estimated. The, estimated based on the, the, the uh, uh, what we have. Or yes, what, and, and, uh, this, and this was this house was built in 2021. No. When? This house, this house is uh, six months old. Oh, this house, this house is... Uh, this is This house is almost six months old. It's all up to... Okay, so this yeah. house was, this this was, was basically built in 2022. This, yes, this house was finished. We started the project by March and we finished, um, 
I think by August, uh, by November we are painting already, and then so let's say. Yeah, so how many? Has, uh, talking about that, how many how many months did it take you to build this? March. We started by we we came in here March twenty three. 2022 mm. and then as an ending of uh, November we are already painting and planning to first week of December there about we are moving out of sight okay so, so on or before 20th we are just uh, waiting for you know so me and my few guys were just waiting to hand over, over, hand over yeah, exactly, to, the client. to the client exactly so um, I think this is a question everybody will want to know okay how long what influences how long a project takes? Like, what are, what are the factors that influences how long it takes you to finish a building or a project? Is it the is it how fast money is provided from from the client, or you know that's just what we want to know? Just give us that. Yes, idea. yes. What make project to finish as fast as you want is your money. Okay. Yes. So you know because, what you're saying because, because we have a team. Mm. We have departmental team. We have a team who are available to do as you want it. Okay. Like my other project you've seen, you've seen that we have used two months mm. to erect a two-story building and then use the, the rest to three months to... Like in in, 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 in other places, in Lekki, mm. we have used two months to build a house, three months and all that. So it depends on your money. So once your money is available, and then we have our terms and conditions, okay, this is A, B, C, D, D, then we swing into action. So you know that you guys can finish a house in, in one month if money is provided. Exactly. So depending on the house, though. Depending on the depending house. On the house because, like in a duplex, mm. in a duplex, it has this the twenty-one days. Um, it has twenty-one days. Uh, um, um, you should after your decking, you should be you should be able to allow it for a while. Okay. So, but that doesn't stop that you shouldn't continue on the off floor. Okay. So, but after your decking. You have to allow for 21 days before you can take off the support under, which is the bamboos, the woods, the wood. and then, then you can start walking from from the underground. On that starts from the ground floor. Okay, so uh, all, right, all right, I get that. Yeah. So now you guys did the PO, you did POP here. Yes. Um, and also I noticed also that there, there there's a sound system in the house. Exactly. The central sound system. Yes. Okay. Um, can you just tell us a bit about the POP system here briefly? Let's just know. Yes, the POP system. Mm. Basically, in most of our projects, you'll be having this POP, but different designs. Okay. Okay. So what we, when it gets to POP, we, what we do is we will send so many designs to our clients. Okay. Okay. We have okay. When we, for example, this is the sitting room, mm. or this is the parlor, this is the kitchen. Mm. So we send designs to our clients. You make a choice. We will send alike. For example, there's a design for kitchen. Mm. There's a design for rooms. There's a design for different places in the house mm. okay so when we send this design we said okay these are the designs for rooms you make a choice we'll replicate it for you then the sound system in most of our project you have it yes like you don't need to the music shouldn't be everywhere mm. in the house just like in the mall mm. you your music will play from the roof okay. so uh, it's expected then mostly our projects all the modern uh, expectations all the modern expecting are all there the sound system the Security system, we all have that in oh, all our buildings. Okay. Now, um, as I will always ask, briefly, just how much did, it, did the entire POP of this house cost? <laughs> this same question will be applicable to the tile. Exactly. At, at least the POP, you yes. guys, the person that that designed it now went to buy the POP materials yeah. by themselves. No, 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 they did not. Okay, they, so it was supplied. Every yes, okay. every materials in this building was, was supplied. Was supplied. Okay, we just I, a call away, and then we had the supply. You have the supply. Oh, the call away, we had the supply. All right. So yes, we just from your experience, you are you are you are very experienced in these things. So yes. I, yeah. I mean, estimatedly, how much do you think? It costs to for the POP because every room in this house has POP. Exactly. Even every, upstairs too. Everywhere, every yeah. corner, uh-huh. walkways, everywhere. Everywhere has, has POP. POP. Yeah. So how much do you think it costs, or how much will you estimate that? I know you guys didn't buy the material because another the reason I'm also asking that is because this house is is new. Yes. It's just six months old. Exactly. And so the prices um, of materials probably might have changed, but not so much. So what do you think would have it, it would cost me if I wanted to build this kind of house? Um, to to put BOP in a five bedroom duplex. Well, most times, so we'll talk about this one. Mm. 
let's not just say five bedroom duplex of and look, let's just okay. let's just use this one as a, okay, as a point of view. We have the, different kind of exactly. Yes, I understand. Okay, so so now for example, this POP I would say it costs between four to, to, to between four point five or there about to five million. That's including the screening because we're also discrediting. Okay. And we have some our some special kind of screening we do. Mm. Uh, yeah, we do the we mix as screening with cement mm. and then we, you will not see our screening cracks. Okay. There's a way we mix it with cement and the materials together. Mm. So I would say the POP generally maybe cost between four to five million naira. Okay. And then, but this is not an exact. I know it's an estimated exactly, price. Because I, know I, can, I know you say you didn't buy the. I would never bought any materials. Didn't buy the we materials just, just all supplied. supplied. Uh-huh. Every materials in this house, the furnishing, mm-hmm. the doors, everything, every the tiles, the furnishing, the cement, the blocks. The roofing materials, everything was supplied. Okay. But trust me, we we we, we also advised the client on, on what what, what exactly, even as much as the client know what he wants. Okay. But what we our advices and our input was very very enormous. Mm-hmm. Exactly because let me tell you, you meet some different clients. There's a client you meet and he sells all these things, and there's a client you meet and this is what he does. I'm not saying this is the same situation here. So, but sometimes the client will ask, okay, this is so we give you a flexible um, uh, conditions for work. Okay, okay. If you want to provide, this is what, you know, whatever, we just give you a bill and then we, we, we differentiate the bill yeah. from uh, materials from labor. Okay. So, talking about the doors, I noticed that these doors are not your usual doors that you use for other houses that I've seen. Is it also the client that also handles the doors? Every materials was provided, but for the door, mm. the, the, this door has its own spec and it's a good door. Okay, but, 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 for but, here. but this is not it the... It also came from the source we have been buying. Ah, yes. the Swiss... Uh... Yeah, not, not really, we, like I told you that mm. um, in other projects, we have, we, bought, we buy Swiss, we buy other companies. Okay. Uh-huh. So this is a very good door and okay. it's, it's, it's suitable and matchable for its, this purpose. It's a very good door. Okay. And yes. Also, because, yeah, it's the, a very good door. Also, the doors, um, the internal doors. Sorry, excuse me. Also, the internal doors. I these are doors that I really like. Last time I was in Lagos, the hotel I slept. Mm. These are the doors they used. You know. So my question about these doors is that are they are they really price friendly? These wooden doors. They, they are price friendly, but because. In course of the job we do, like mm. I, I, I mentioned, I keep saying, mm. the, 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 the clients provided these things for us, but mm. we see how our input and our big advices came in mm. and the client listening to us. Now, for, for example, this door, we have the guys who bring them in okay. and then we go to them, we discuss with them. We buy. You know, we buy and we give us good prices because most times this door comes... The price if you want to go and buy in, in you know in piecemeal it's mm. give you the, the price won't be the same as what we will buy okay. so the price are friendly because we buy in box okay. and these are and these are uh, people we have been dealing with okay for, for for a long time so they give us some good price so total in this house how many doors do we have the wooden doors are about 18 doors and then the external doors are about uh, seven so estimatedly, yeah. how much would it have cost to put about them? Um, is this eighteen? This wouldn't eighteen, 18, 18. 18 plus, uh, plus eighteen plus uh, seven. seven. That, uh, that's twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars. So that's about the door. The total cost of the door was about four point something million naira. Okay, so it uh, co- okay. which was a fair price as at then. Okay, okay. Yes, okay. because we went into a company who okay, you bring, bought them on wholesale. Yeah, as okay. say, not exactly. Retail. Exactly. So if it was retail, it would have cost everything maybe six or seven million. Ex- yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Then let's talk about the the, um, the the plumbing system and also the bathrooms. Exactly. These are, ti- these are tiny details that yeah. matter to a lot of people like me. Exactly. And if, in my house, in if any house I want to rent, no matter how beautiful the house is, if the bathroom is not mm. is not is not big Sim- and it's Sim- not Sim- good, yeah. I will never collect that kind of house. Exactly. So you there's also a design that I've noticed in some projects I've looked at. As you always have this glass. Yes. Door that you put, and then you also have this demarcation that you usually yes. do. Yeah. That somebody wants to bat the yeah. enter inside. 
there. And I also noticed in this very one, I've not seen that kind of shower before. Yeah. This is like this black... A special shower. ...kind of shower. So can you just tell us a little bit about the plumbing system and the bathrooms okay. and the kind of um, um, toilet seats? And also, and before, let me just say this before you answer, so that you can answer everything at once. Also in the master's bedroom, there's this kind of bathtub I saw. Jacuzzi. That is, is, it, is that jacuzzi? Yes. So in other words, you can put water there and just relax inside. And... Yes, exactly. It has a music system. It has a, it's a jacuzzi. Wait, really? that, jacuzzi. Thing has, that thing has a music system? Yes, a jacuzzi has a function. It has, it's a jacuzzi. Has a music system. It has a can make a phone call. It has, with it? Yeah, you, you can within you know just an like intercom it. kind of. And okay, then it yeah. has sound. I said it before. Mm. It has a you go in. It has a, 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 a hot and cold. Mm. Yeah, and then it's a jacuzzi. Okay, so apart from the jacuzzi, what the the the, the, the ceramic. Um, the the toilet seats and the and the what do you call that thing the, the one you shower call, cubicle the shower cubicle and the rest of that can you just walk us through exactly just give us a brief okay fine those uh, let's talk about the plumbing mm. first of all when we are building mm. we did the plumbing mm. conduits yes. yeah the, pump, the plumbing work oh yes conducts. talking about conduits that's one thing I also noticed. There are no way I, I have been looking around, I couldn't see where you know the, the standard way we know now, yes, or the usual way we know where there will be the plumbing pipes will be outside. You would never see that in any of our projects, okay? So, you guys and have a way not, of and that bearing, is not modern, yes. So, you guys have a way of um, when, when we are building during uh, when we are building during uh, during our building mm. where the block is being laid, we encase the plumbing pipes inside okay so all it. that is designed into the it's designed into it and it has its own mechanical uh, style so those 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 pipes you guys use yeah wouldn't what if the pipe has an issue inside the but that's why we have to use a very good pipe what kind of pipes pressure pipes what? and P- and ppr pipe Pre- pressure what? by ppr pipe what's what's the difference between pressure pipes or ppr pipes and and, and the, the normal, normal pipe it's, they are better now like that's what you say which kind of pipe i say pressure pipe and ppr they are better they are very good pipes. And they are more expensive. They are more expensive, of course, because you will not see it on the outer. And it's going to be inside the wall as as long as the house, the house stays. Okay. Yes, that's what it is. As long as the house stays, okay. it's just there. Okay, so you were telling us, sorry for digressing, mm. so you were telling us about the... Yeah, the, 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 the first of all, the toilets. Mm. In all of the toilets, mm. you are going to see the cubicle. The cubicle is a shower where you go in there okay, and it has the glass. your glass, exactly, glass cubicle there. But on the demarcation on the floor is a, 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 a platform, a tile work we did mm. so that water do, do, do not come into the general toilet, toilet so area. Or exactly. So the, the general toilet should be very, very dry and neat at all yeah, times. That's, that that's, is why that's something did, I, really, I yes, really appreciate. That is why we always demarcate that shower area water don't have a way to come in they will never come here that's why you see this platform that's one thing number two on the general area of the toilet we still have a floor drain maybe when you are cleaning the toilet they are mopping water pours okay. naturally water should go in there but those floor drains are hidden in some area that you won't really see okay so now the plumbing system like i said um the jacuzzi the the general side of the toilet will keep it dry mm. just because it should be like that. Water it makes water shouldn't come in there, except so we make water to you know only in that uh, confined in the area of the shower. Okay. Okay. That's one. Then number two, the yeah. toilet seats. Okay. Those ones are you know you go to the shop where they sell them. We have the number of the toilet here. Mm. They are all England products. Okay. We have our specification, and that was the spe- specification from the clients okay. on what he wanted. Then the 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 the. the the the, 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 the the showers you saw there, we, like I said, the showers we saw there, we go to the shops and then send pictures. Mm. The clients send pictures of what he wanted. Mm. We go to the shops and we source them. Okay. Uh-huh. Those are the things. So then, um, because mostly our projects, we don't just decide on our own. Whatever we do, either we take, the it, as well, like, whether we take the project on contracts wholeheartedly to just work and deliver, mm-hmm. give your key, or you are providing materials. We mm-hmm. still, you have a lot of input, input and we also have our input. We share thoughts. Mm-hmm. We flexibility is what helps us to work together. Then the toilet, uh, like I said, England. Then the, in the each of the toilet, you have um, this cabinetry. Mm-hmm. It was built by a team. 
okay. when we were doing the wardrobe and then we also have that we can as well buy them okay. but we were able to construct them and then the mirrors got them and then every other thing you okay. know so when you put them together and mix it the toilets and give you a serene the environment so for the entire for this entire house now how many toilets do we have we have for the duplex yes we have um six toilets six toilets yes okay and then the master's bedroom has has a jacuzzi on it has a jacuzzi on it okay so now six toilets how much do you think it would have cost to, to to with the standard of the toilet in this house how much do you think these six toilets would have cost you know that's everything inside that's the the mirrors the shower cubicle the um you know, they, they, heat, they are heaters inside the bathroom. Yeah, they are all, they, all of them have heaters uh, except so, for the visitor's toilet. Okay, so how much do you think it would have cost estimatedly? I know you guys didn't buy the materials. Yeah. But I know those that are watching would just want to have a rough idea. Okay, estimatedly, the toilet itself, like the WCs, mm-hmm. um, maybe 400,000 mm-hmm. outside the BQ. Then um, the showers. Mm-hmm. Showers like uh, two hundred thousand mm. outside the big use, uh, like um, the jacuzzi itself. It just one in this house. Yeah, yeah the masters. Yeah, that was about uh, two seventy thousand, okay. and then um, the cabinetry in the toilet, mm. like I said. Okay, you guys did that. We constructed it right here on site. Mm. So the mirrors that is in all the toilets. Um, that would that would be like uh, one fifty thousand. The mirrors, the, the mirror, the six mirrors in all the toilet, mm. and then um, I would say the um, the cubicle, the glass cubicle that you will yeah, have yeah, when yeah. you go into bed. We have some special guys who comes in from Lagos to do it mm-hmm. whenever we have that. So they do. Uh, so you bring them all the way from Lagos. Yes, most of our, most of our uh, workers comes from Lagos. Okay. So yes, just to get the best, like I told you. Okay. Exactly. So, the uh, cubicle costs us about um, one point uh, three, thereabouts, ex- you know. And then the, um, the cubicle we've talked about the cubicle, the heaters. Mm. The heaters is a good product, sweet home, mm. you know, and it's been good. We've been using it. Um, the heaters, I would say, the for the six toilet, six uh, six five toilet and the kitchen. There's a heater in the kitchen. Okay. Just that you don't need to boil water. The, your gas will be less, less. You conserve some gas. You conserve some gas. You don't have to use your gas or electric mm. all the all the time. So whenever the light comes up, you heat your water. You can use it to warm your okay. thing to, to to make tea. So I would say the heater uh, costs us like two hundred thousand. You know, this with your transportation. Okay. Yeah, because I'm giving you an total. Mm. Uh, then. That's about it. Okay. Exactly. Uh, so you, you what about the the wardrobes in the the wardrobes in the rooms? You got your team did the, the, Yes, the, we did the wardrobe and the kitchen. Oh, in wow. The rooms. It's nice and I also yes. I, and I really like the one that is in the master's bedroom like it's Yeah, yes. It's it, according to this is our design. Okay. For example, when we come into a project, mm. we make designs. Okay. When you are building, you figure out where things should be okay. and how the geometric arrangement and how the usage that to be comfortable okay. for the, the, the person using it. Okay. Did you did you guys do um add, I mean the roofing? Yes. Do you use um, yes. tiles or you use, or is 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 a decking? The, the the roofing is not tile. It's the normal roofing, but this is lake style of roofing. Because okay. when we come into the project and when we had the design, we had a meeting with the client and he said, this is my kind of... You know, you see other projects we had, you saw mm-hmm. the other kind of roofing, it's called German. Yes. But this one is the one-way roofing. It's called one-way roofing. What does that happen? One-way roofing is, is not... You don't make it high and send it down. It's not German, it's one-way. One-way roofing is such that water goes to one, one side of it. You you raise this other end and then you slope it to the other way. It but it's not like the other one that you make it... Uh, the center will be higher and then water comes in different angles mm-hmm. but this one is one way water goes to a particular side of it so in other words you didn't you did you, the, 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 uh, you, you did casting now no there's or a roof no there's no decking there's a roof there okay, but so there's a way just the pattern of the house we raise the wall 
and then hide. You you, from you part explained of that already. What I'm trying to ask is, what material is it? The, is it the normal? Uh, it's the normal roofing sheet. Roofing sheet. Yes, normal wood. Uh, that's the tiles. No, not not the roofing sheet. Normal roofing. Zinc. Zinc. Uh, the good quality. High quality. Zinc. Yes. Uh, yes. The roofing of this house is such that you will not see. Okay, because it's not visible. Mm, and that's why I'm asking. Mm. Did you guys um, um, put it put put these lights? Yes. Every light in the house, everything in this house was done by us, including the everything, curtains and everything the... that was in this house was done by us. But like I said, you guys didn't all... buy them; they just bought and gave to you guys to fix. Yes. Okay. Like, but like most of them, we were involved in the purchasing. In the, in the purchase, but you like, guys didn't pay. No, yeah, exactly. Okay. We, like when we are going, to, when we are going to buy them, we our input. Our advice is yeah, like the light. We have right? a company that sells lights in Alaba International Market mm. for us. So whenever we are, our house are ready, we have the choice from the client, share pictures, and we just go to the company and tell them what we want. We discuss, and the prices are always very fair. So and these, they, so these chandeliers uh, that we have houses is, exactly. Well, it all came from there. Yeah, came from. What there. about this interior? The interior, we have a guy uh, who stays around. Um, we just call them and they are there. Are they in Lagos? They are in Lagos, they are in Aba, they are in, you know, they are in Nigeria as well. <laughs> they are in Lagos, they are in Aba. Okay. But like this guy, mm. the guy who did this, I think he came from uh, some part of um, um, okay. East, East part of Nigeria. Okay, so he designed it? Yes. Okay. So including you, the what about the, the the furnitures in the parlor same guy too no no no, no. you guys is that from you guys too? no no it's from the clients okay that's the client yeah. that bought this one exactly and the dining too and all exactly okay wow people are doing a nice job um i think anybody that wants to reach out to you shall will, will leave the contact details um in the in the description of this video so that they can send you an email or maybe give you a call thank you to get more details if any of you want to do your own project as well. All right, so thank you, sir. Thank you. I'll see you in the next project. It's a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Always a pleasure. <laughs>